Man, where do I start? I barely remember anything. And y'all probably won't answer to why I'm in this bed. Man, I got jumped. I mean, they took everything I had, too. Cops said they found me behind a dumpster, knocked out cold. They was asking me if I wanted to press charges against the attackers. They needed a description of who did it, and I ain't see who did it, nor do I remember what even happened. I got beat up pretty bad. They say my left wrist is fractured. Luckily, it ain't my throwing arm, but I need to find out who did it. Were they looking for me personally, or was I just the wrong person at the wrong time? It didn't even happen on campus. It was out on the streets. News got out on campus that I got rushed to the hospital and I ended up getting a phone call from Coach. He basically was saying how he felt bad and he wanted to come up to the hospital with the team. I told him I was in so much pain that I needed rest. I mean, just look at my face. I'm beat the hell up. And I know I talk a lot of shit, but I mean, did I really deserve this? Two weeks went by and they finally let me get back on the field after what happened. Coach advised everyone that they shouldn't ask me about what happened because it was going to only make me lose focus. And we can't have that because we're getting close to the playoffs. But the only thing that I could think about every time I threw the ball was, why did this happen to me, though? What did I do wrong? And right as I got back to my car after practice, my phone rang. Hello? Hi, is this Mr. Cruz? Yeah, who is this? This is Officer Jones. News got out what happened to you three weeks ago, and we finally had some surveillance footage. So if you're free, we'd like you to come up to the station and see it. All right, I'm leaving practice right now. I'm on my way. And I couldn't even believe this, bro. I thought they'd never find an end to this case. And I hope whoever did it, I hope they get life in prison, too. The video's a bit choppy. They only got certain parts, but as you can see, them boys, I tried to surrender and say I don't want no problems, but they just didn't care, and they just started stumping me out at the end. And they still have no clue how I ended up behind the dumpster either. And that video didn't really show enough, so I still have no clue who this could be. They were hooded up and had masks on. So they said they're going to do some further investigation, and they'll probably let me know within the next couple of weeks. They got to do a lot of digging, a lot of fingerprints, see if they can find anything out there. It's probably finding a dumpster or something. They got to look around. And I try not to let it get to me because, like I said, Coach want me to play this week, and the game is tomorrow. So now I got to refocus and shift my head into this game. Next up, we got Tennessee State and them boys, some dogs. They only lost one game this whole season. So just like I said before, I'm coming in this game real injury. Like, I can't move nothing. And honestly, I shouldn't even be taking these type of hits right now. And it's a rainy game, so you know it's about to be a long game. My body all taped up. My ribs taped up, but y'all can't see because I got the pads on. But I'm still going to try to go out there and see if I can get something. Now I'm getting some big yards. I go for a nice juke, and I get nowhere. But I'm still finna celebrate on the field because that's a nice run. I might be hurt, but I ain't out. My left wrist is fractured, but luckily I throw with my right hand, but I can still feel the pain either way I go. But I'm trying to chuck the ball deep down here, and it gets broken up when I could have went short to my guy coming across the middle. Hey, but that's a mistake we're going to make. And news broke out on ESPN, too, of how they made a headline talking about college quarterback gets brutally beaten behind a whatever it was. I don't even remember where it was, where I got beat up at. But I'll say all that to say, I don't want all that attention around me when I'm getting close to the playoffs. And they tell me I might be in a runner for a Heisman Award, too. I just don't need all that bad press around me. But all I know is a win right here will for sure up my chances at becoming a Heisman this year. So I got to lock in because the only thing that should be on my mind right now is seeing if we can get this W against this team that only lost one game this whole entire season. I mean, we hanging in there right now. We're going for the nice run. I'm going to keep it in, and I'm going to dance my way all the way in there for the touchdown. Like I said before, my body is aching like crazy, but I got to get this dub because we lost the past two games. If y'all remember, we lost the past two games. We can't lose three games in a row. I mean, but they do got the top defense in the nation. Yeah, they showing it right there that they can, that we can't let up. We got to push. We got to push through. And that play right there, I should have really just gave him the ball and let him run the ball because that pass did not work. That RPO did not work one bit. And apparently this play not working either. Y'all got to bear with me because y'all got to remember, I just got jumped. Like, I got jumped two weeks ago, but I'm still feeling the pain from, like I said, my wrist is fractured. I can't even do nothing with it out there. 
And I mean, I'm just getting blew up every play. Like, if my line already know I am in pain, they should look out for your boy. But now we come back again, second and ten, and I'm running for my life again. So I just throw the ball in. I throw an interception. It's like I can't do nothing out here. It's not looking too good out here right now. But I told them boys, block me one good time, and I promise I can make a big play. And that's exactly what I did. They get a nice block, and they get a nice pass to my boy. And he gone all the way, and y'all cannot catch that boy. He taking it all the way for the touchdown. Like I said before, I might be down and out, injured and all, but we cannot lose this game. And I'm trying to build the strength to come back and get us to win. We down by 10. It was like, so I'm going to hand the ball. I got to do a lot more running plays. But look at number 21. He right there. It's like, I've been handed the ball up, bro. Get off me. Why he all on me like that? So I'm going to go on this point and throw the ball short to Braylon Allen right there, which I should have kept. I should have tried to find something else. But like I said, I'm like, I'm paranoid right now. Like anytime somebody get close to me from the tackle, I, it's just playing right to my head, replaying over and over again. And it's the fact that my receivers cannot get open either. I guess I got to put the ball on the ground next position, see if I can get some yards on my feet. And we just lost three in a row, as I said before. So this game right here is probably going to be four in a row, but I don't want it to be four in a row because we got to step up. I, I'm trying not. To, I'm trying to have the best game I can have out there, but like I said before, I'm hurting. I can't get the right blocking. I can't get my receivers open. It's, it's just looking all bad right now, but I ain't going to count myself out. But look at this play right here. As soon as I hike the ball, that boy is right there running at me, and I'm trying to run for dear life, but I just can't shake him. And you know what I will say? I've been in a hospital for that long period of time. T did not come visit me. I went to visit that man when he was in the hospital, and he ain't come see me at all. That's why I'm saying, like, everything ain't reciprocated. You got to stop being a nice guy. Like, I tried to change my ways and be a nice dude, but hold on. Look at that nice juke right here. I mean, I'm with one more juke, and I'm going to take it all the way in there for one more. Touchdown. And I told them boys, if I scored again, this is gonna be my go-to celebration right here. And they didn't they didn't think I was gonna do it for real, but not do it. It's raining. We're trying to roll around, have some fun, because we're trying to bring the tempo back up so we can get the game up and possibly tie the game and then win the game at the end. So this is a bad handoff. I'm gonna still hand the ball out to my boy. And like I said, he should have cut left. He do a lot of I ain't gonna lie, he make a lot of dumb decisions, but that's still my boy though, because he still get busy out there. And now we really see if we could tie the game up before the half. So we're going to throw a nice little bomb right here. And we made a mistake. We should have called timeout, but we didn't. We ended up spiking the ball with two seconds left. I mean, either way it goes still, but we would have plenty more time on the clock. So now we're just going to kick the field goal and tie the game and send it to the half. Now we get the ball back at half. I'm going to do my nice little option. I'm going to juke this man right here, and I promise you, I'm telling you, my feet still work even though my hands and my body don't, and I'm going to take it all away, and y'all can't stop me because we run it again for another touchdown. Like I said, I am not going out without a fight. I am trying to put my team on my back and try to take us all the way to the promised land. So now we finally got the lead. After all, and I'm going to take the ball again for another run play, do the same play. And I tried to juke that man, but he was not going this time. But hey, look, I got five rush for 127 yards and three touchdowns. Like I said, if I got to put the ground, if I got to put the ball on the ground, that's just what I'm going to do. So now we come here, I'm going to try to throw the ball this time. I'm going to throw the ball across the middle. He going to catch it when I was second in inches. But yeah, my boy Chim Ray. He ain't been doing nothing this whole game. It's probably my fault for not even looking at him, but I, I'm going to try to look at him more this game. So we're going to do another pass play right here, and I got so much time in the world this time. I should have ran the ball, but I'm going to throw the ball down the tee and see if he can make a miraculous play, and the ball gets broken up. Now it's third and inches when I should have just ran the ball and got the easy first down. And that's basically what I get. It cost us. Because either way I go, that run play was not going to work. You see, they had two defenders go at Braylon, and they had two come and get me. And I was fourth and three, and now we punting the ball. So now with the game tied with four minutes left in the third, I got to put a move on it. But look at this. Everywhere I go, I got hit from behind, paused. And then I threw an interception because he came right up and picked up the ball and cleaned it up. It's like, look at me. I can't believe what's happening right now. And it's like, I wonder what Nike feeling right now. Because they seen a cover athlete get jumped at, look like they, they look, I don't even know what I was doing over there, to be honest. I was just walking around the block, and they just caught me lacking. And now they see that. And now they see that I lost three straight. 
Hey, they probably looking at me a different way, but they got to give me an excuse. But I'm a juke him. Oh, my God. That was so much of a beautiful juke. He could not hold me. For well, third and eight, I'm going to see if I can get the first down. So I see T right there. I'm going to heap the ball all the way down the field, and he comes up with the catch. It's an unbelievable catch, but, hey, he held the ball, and look at him. He finna turn up just because he caught the ball. I'm going to show y'all the replay, too. He caught the ball and held on. But, hey, I ain't going to lie. T, he's starting to grow on me because hey, he, he a good receiver. I thought he was going to be trash, but he really a good receiver. But look at Braylon just get swallowed up right there. No diddy. So I try to come out with an option. I try to hand the ball off, but he poked the ball right out from under me right when I was finna hand the ball off. And like I said, we just marched all the way up this field for no reason. But we're going to run the same play, and this time I actually get the ball off this time. And look at Braylon. He pointed to his man like, hey, block him. He didn't get the block because he was too slow, but we still ended up with the first down. And I don't know if y'all know, but Tennessee defense is stacked. Like, look at that. I can't go nowhere. But now it's the fourth quarter, and we down a touchdown, so we got to pick it up right here. I was going to I was gonna take the ball. I should have just hit triangle right there, but I tried to do some crazy stuff, and it cost me. Now it's third and 10. So now with it's third and 10, I got to get the first down right here. So I'm scanning the field, and I see that man wide. So what happened was when he crossed my other man coming, going up the field, that made the defender change to him, and they just tripled him. And I thought he was going to be wide open, and he wasn't. Well, now it's 45 to 31, and look at that. I threw another interception, and I'm going to try to put a hit on this boy, and he do a nice, clean spin on me. I ain't going to lie. I'm getting embarrassed out here on the field. It's 45 to 31, and look at the walk of shame. It was two minutes left in the game, and it's not looking good. I go for a slip pass right here, and he still hit me. I feel like that's just a late hit. Like, the game is almost over. Stop trying to put abuse on the quarterback. They, I'm pretty sure they heard the news, too, so they know what I'm going through, and they're trying to put me out the game for even longer. So now it's second and three. At this point, I'm going to just start throwing passes because I got to see if I can make it out. And the defense is just too much for my guys out there. They cannot make a pass. So when I was third and three, I should just run the ball and get the first down. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it off to Braylon Allen. He got some nice yardage right there. But now we got to hurry up. I'm going to call timeout right here because we're going to see if we can still win this game. So now I'm just pretty much throwing the ball down there hoping they can catch it. And I throw the ball to T and he coming in the clutch when I need it. But look at my stats. One touchdown and three interceptions. That is unacceptable. And you can see all this overthrowing I'm doing is taking a toll on my body because I'm not throwing the ball accurate, not one bit. And right when I thought the game couldn't get any worse, I throw one more interception to cap off the game. And honestly, look at me running to the side of the other field. That's honestly, that's the game right there. Terrible game I just had, but I'm going to ask y'all, who do y'all think is responsible for jumping me? Put down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. I ain't going to say no names, none, because y'all going to spectate. But I want y'all to try to figure out who was the reason or why or even if they was looking for me. But in the next video, it's going to be a banger, y'all. So stay tuned.